The typical question an entry-level student will often ask is, how do I start a career in cybersecurity? Now, there's several videos, uh, especially here coming up in the next few years, that will be published on YouTube talking about how you can actually develop a career in cybersecurity. In fact, there's been a few recently that have been published and they've been getting rather you know, lengthy views for uh, cybersecurity specific subjects on YouTube. The advice that these guys are giving uh, is very valid. In fact, you know, they have a lot more experience uh, or knowledge or they're interviewing professionals in the industry. That's a, often a gap that I actually find is that students can listen to experienced professionals but at the same time, there's really no connection. So today I'm gonna to actually address how not to start a career in cybersecurity instead of saying how to start a career in cybersecurity. So let's go ahead and get started. Everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I'm a current student completing an undergraduate program. And one of the things that I typically see in the classrooms as I have gone to the classrooms for freshmen and sophomores, um, and people will ask me, hey Grant, what's your major? And I say, hey, it's cybersecurity. And I take pride in that because I have, you know, a clear passion for, for cybersecurity. And students in my class always, the, the, the specific classes that have to do with cybersecurity, I ask them, I say, hey man, hey, uh, you know, what, what, what got you interested in cybersecurity? And a lot of them say, uh, um, Grant, dude, you're an idiot. You can make a lot of money in cybersecurity. That's why I'm going to pursue it. Plus, it's a growing industry. I'm never going to have to find a, you know, I have to find a job. I'll just have to just apply and boom, I, I'm hired. I'll be able to get a career in no time. No doubt that that is actually like really true. Honestly, uh, there is definitely a high paying scale, especially at this uh, starting salary and the job security is continuing to grow. But I'm going to tell you right now, that is how not to get a career in cybersecurity. Let me tell you, let me explain. So the leading motivations behind cybersecurity, if it's going to be for money and for job security, primarily those are usually the two reasons why people are going to find out that a cybersecurity is has to do a lot more with a risk assessment than the green lines of code when you're hacking. Now don't be wrong, there is a particular uh, job, a position that you can do that in, but there is several different jobs, several different big jobs in cyber security such a big word now it's it's used to represent represent so many positions and so people don't realize that they just think oh i'll just be hacking and i'll be making my way through i don't know school and i'll just be able to make a lot of money again you can do that uh, but b also is a lot of times especially at the entry level you're going to be talking about doing a lot of the grunt work right you may be saying well internships are for that or uh certain Positions will do that, but I won't have to do that in cybersecurity. You will most likely have to do some grunt work as an entry level career position. It's just what you have to do because first off, you don't really have experience. And second off, no one else wants to do that work. So who gets to do it? Not the, uh, the new guy. So, so combine both of those two and we have some really distorted, uh, thoughts, right? You can make a lot of money. You can get a lot of job security, but at the same time, entry level career is going to be rather tedious at times if you are not careful about where you apply and what you're doing. And you're also gonna be doing a lot more than just hacking into the system. So at this point, let's go ahead and fast forward five years, okay? So five years from now, let's say this student has graduated college with a degree in computer science, cybersecurity, information technology, information systems, networking, something of that nature. And he ends up getting a job, he or she ends up getting a job in a security role, right? off they're not gonna have experience so they're gonna have no idea what they're doing and second off something that is again portrayed by media is oh you'll be active on the technology industry you'll be you're gonna be super active and you're gonna be engaging with all these people but in reality you're gonna be staring at a computer screen so the real reason why the real way not to develop a career in cybersecurity is to have leading motivations of a you want money, B, it's good job security, and maybe even C, it's a cool word, cyber security. You know, you get to say, yeah, I'm a cyber security specialist. If any of those three motivations are the only reasons, right, the only reasons you are going to pursue a career in cybersecurity, I would say you move on. 
you're not gonna like this career at all. Um, now I don't. Now I don't mean to discourage anyone who uh, you know wants to make good money. And a career is a career. It's what you make of it. Some people, it's a that's what they do. That's their life. And for some others, that's just a way, a means of making money and making a living. But you need to have at least some type of interest or passion, right? So start out with an interest in cybersecurity. And how can you do that, right? There's going to be a few ways, uh, but really, ultimately, the the biggest way is just learning the industry itself, right? So no matter what position you are in right now, whether you're a freshman in college, in high school, maybe you're looking to develop a transition into a career in cybersecurity from another career. What I would advise you do is you just start picking up some news, some news blogs, security news blogs, and maybe pick up a few books from the library regarding security incidents, famous ones, and just start learning with the, in the industry itself. Uh, those are going to be enticing and more interesting. Uh, the stories are not going to be long and drawn out. So you kind of get to see some interesting parts, interesting perspectives of the industry. And from there, I would advise that you go pick up a course. Um, now, I'm not saying go pick up a thousand dollar course uh, on this certification or go pick up this platform and you do this for the next two years of your life. I always start out with kind of the exploring courses. And the number one course I recommend is Volume 1, Hackers Exposed by Nathan House. Uh, he has a complete cybersecurity course, uh, four volumes. And so you can start with the, the first volume. And if that interests you, you can continue to move on to network security. Then you have endpoint protection and anonymous browsing as the other volumes. And so I would, I would advise that you pick those up. They're going to be really cheap uh, considering the other training that you they have uh, online these days. And you're going to be able to discover, yeah, I like this. Um, it was really honestly the, the first course, the first thing that I really utilized and realized yeah, this is a career I want to pursue. I'm really interested in, in what Nathan has to say and what he presented. And number three is actually getting your career, right? Uh, pursuing this career. And what can, you, what can you do? How can you do that? There's going to be two ways. Either you can get experience, and that's going to be hard if you don't have formal qualifications. And now in formal qualifications, you have a few options. You can get a degree in cybersecurity. You can get a degree in information systems, computer science, networking, anything at the information technology field is really viable for a career in cybersecurity. I would advise that if you have a good undergraduate program uh, near your area or the college that you want to go to uh, and it's good enough uh, for you, I would advise you go for cybersecurity as long as they have an accredited uh, curriculum. And the second option, the, the big option, is going to be getting your certifications. Uh, now certifications can be a lot cheaper. But at the same time, they're going to require an intense amount of study for a certain amount of time. And you will be able to get that. It, once, you get, once you get that certification, you will be able to at least market yourself to some extent. And maybe the third idea that I have uh, right off the top of my head is pursuing a boot camp. Uh, these are going to be a little bit more rare. There's a lot of mainstream web developer or coding, programming boot camps, but not so much on the IT uh, security side, and if they are on the IT security side, they're going to be a lot of certification curricula. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to probably get some formal qualification and experience uh, combined with some internship or, or co-op experience. And then on top of that, then you can go into experience. So to recap the video, to not start a career in cybersecurity, the number one thing you don't want to do is have the wrong motivation. If you are going to pursue it for money, and for job security, and because it looks cool in a resume, good luck. To start a career in cybersecurity, I would say, first off, learn about the industry, right? So you're going to be reading those news, you're going to be reading those books, you're going to be picking up books online, there's a lot of PDF versions, you're going to be reading those security blogs uh, from very well-renowned people who are security researchers, IT security researchers, and you're going to be picking up books and pamphlets on just the general cyberspace itself. Then you're going to go pick up maybe a cheap course, right? Something that's going to be either free or really cheap. Uh, that's going to be really good. And again, I really highly recommend uh, Nathan House's Complete Cybersecurity Course Volume 1 to start out because it's cheap. You're paying for something, right? You're not just getting free junk. Uh, you're, you're paying for a certain quality of content and it's all organized in one. And then third, you're going to get your, your certifications or you're going to go get a college degree or you're going to maybe get both and you're going to get experience while maybe you're completing one of those 
to, and that is how you start a career in cybersecurity. If you guys are wondering, like, really, is a cyber career worth the pursuing? Am I geared for it? What am I supposed to do in cybersecurity? How do I get an internship, entry-level career, anything that has to do with entry-level career work in cybersecurity? Go check out my posts on cyberinternacademy.com. Uh, this is going to be like a really one-stop shop website for you to really get educated about what cybersecurity entry-level positions have to offer and how you can really get yourself started. So thanks for watching and have a good day. Oh, and just remember, if you're pursuing cybersecurity for the money, you'll be screwed, dude.